Hi, my name is Amelia Escalante. I'm in 12th grade. Hi, my name is Tamaya Bender, and I'm also in 12th grade, and we're both from Bellevue West. <laughs> and the title of our poem is... Eat Me. I chop the pork. I chop the tomatoes. I relieve it of its skin. I set the pan. Scraps made into a meal. Our fellow pig in the making. The oil is set, bubbling to the brim, scorching her skin, a body compressed, shrinking her humanity down to an acceptable bite. Served on a silver platter by undeserving hands. To you. Let her out of our pen to tend to their children. To forget the colored mouth, but feed their own. Cooking for them. Service for them. Labor for them. Enslave future, future generations to a servitude of inhumanity. This, this is America, America, built on the backs of the marginalized. A myriad of color designed and coordinated by colorless hands. Her colored hands tiresome of surrounding the kitchen with love reserved for her children, passed down to ungrateful white mouths, her body and being carved out to style submission. Her compliance is an incompliance to her role as a mammy. But she still asks, what more can I do for you? Her colored hands reek of bleach left sore from the upkeep stylized by her outline. The new housekeeper who feeds time and time to old messes. The consumption of her life allows her to set a table of food from home for a new generation. In a thick accent with jumbled words, words foreign to a white mouth, she still asks, What more can I do for you? Allow them to dissolve on your tongue because their obedience makes them easy to consume. Our backs are bent. True freedom is denied to skin trapped in history. Left in a kitchen in servitude. Pleading and pleading. Cooking and cooking. Cleaning and cleaning. Scrubbing and scrubbing. Working and working and working and working. Do not consume us because this is what we are stewed from. Simmer down to a quiet, complacent culture. Capitalized off the forced mold of the women before us. To cultivate the taste of us as a facade of acceptance. Look, Look at, at her. her. Look, Look at, at us. With the inherited awareness of the flavor of our skin. Ignorance has been placed in your mouth and has allowed you to forget our history. The history of women who prepared, garnished, and fed generation after generation must we be devoured too.